Hello everyone. I hope that you're all safe and well, and I really appreciate the work that I see happening in the group collaboration. Um, today I would like to share just a short video with you because I know that some of you cannot access the virtual meeting. So I'm hoping that this video will be a much better way for us to communicate. And I want to share some things with you to try to simplify the group project. I know that it looks like there's a lot of steps, but um, that is how I kind of create an individual grade for everyone, even though you're working as a group. Um, so I hope to simplify that and to share some information that will help to keep you on track. Um, and I've also made some changes to the class. I know that many of you are stressed out. This is a stressful time without even talking about final exams. So I took a look at the class. I'm actually looking at the class right now. Um, and I looked through the grade book and looked through everything. And I have more than enough grades. Um, I've got lots of grades. And I really feel that the work that you're putting into this group project is enough for the final exam. So I have gotten rid of the final exam. There is no more final exam. Um, I hope that that makes you breathe a sigh of relief and that you can then invest more time in the group project. Um, I have also opened up a module on the Gothic time period and Renaissance as extra credit. Um, and the extra credit for service learning and other exploration virtually is also still open. Um, so that is there, and I hope that helps. So this week, I would like for everybody to set a goal to work with your group, and I've created a couple of new items in the week eight and nine module. Um, the first is I have attached some student examples. They are from slightly different projects. Um, last year, we worked on this project in the same class, Art Appreciation, but students were creating individual essays. And I found that some of them were fantastic, but it was only some. And the majority of the class missed the topic altogether and just wrote an essay. And I really had trouble um, uh, answering the essay question. So groups are always great for difficult projects. I use them in my pottery studio and my drawing studio for critique or for difficult techniques. We're working together. Really, we help each other. So that's my goal for creating this as a group project, is that you can help each other with this difficult topic. So. Um, with that being said, uh, there's also a new um, discussion, and it's very simple, and it will help to keep you on track. Um, it is just a thesis for your group project. So it's due on the 19th of November. That's giving you a week to talk with each other, to think through things, work through the reading and viewing materials, um, share your ideas with your group and then talk with your group and figure out if you want to have one uh, cohesive research topic or if you want to look at a variety of things but you should still have something that is unifying the whole presentation. Okay, You can each kind of explore different things and it's all about um, cultural imperialism within institutions of art. How does that show up in galleries? How does that show up in uh, magazines and art criticism, um, in museums, um, and even in our textbooks? Where do we see that or where do we not see that? Where do we see things left out of textbooks or left out of museums? Um, and we may also, there's a lot of really um, heart-wrenching stories of um, what I call cultural heroes, uh, people who are saving and rescuing arts and culture um, that is in danger of being destroyed. Um, so there's many, many topics, and I really want to leave that very open. Um, you could delve into your own personal um, history, um, your own experiences, your own background knowledge, 
So um, really dive in and then collaborate together, okay? I also would like for you to decide what type of presentation. Um, is it going to be a PowerPoint? Um, is it going to be a blog or a free website? Um, what will you use there? And so setting this due date will help you to, you know, um, have a clear uh, goal in mind to kind of make that decision for your group, work together, and then have one person from your group just post that in the thesis. It's a group project thesis, and I'll attach it at the end of this announcement. You can continue to use the group collaboration to share, to discuss, or it's okay to discuss, you know, in other, um, using other technology, text, messages, um, whatever works best for you. Um, also, please make sure that you individually keep notes, keep um, a journal. Um, at the end, you'll turn in a group project journal just to me um, that shows me, you know, what you were working on, but also you can tell me how things were going. Um, and share with me, you know, great successes and any challenges that you also figured out and how you figured those things out. Um, so that's really it for this week, but you definitely want to project ahead, and I know that many of you are taking multiple classes. Um, so everything is open. You can work through this even this week. I've had students before complete this project in a week and done. Um, so, you know, it's totally up to you and it's flexible so that you can work around your schedule. I also know that many of you are working and going to school. Um, so hopefully this gives you enough time to plan ahead and plan some work time for the project so that you can all be successful. So if you have any questions, I'm only an email away. Um, I do peek at the group collaboration, and I saw some good discussion there, and I can share things with all of you there. You can also post questions to me there um, or through email. So with that, um, you all have a great day, and take good care of yourselves and take good care of each other. And I really look forward to seeing um, what new topics you would like to share in the presentation. Um, and thank all of you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.